Look at this. Parts of an old whiskey barrel. Look at, look at, look at, look at it staining my fingers. Parts of an old whiskey barrel. This is what we're going to do with this. We're going to drop it in here. I'm going to go get some whiskey. I'm going to seal it up, right? And then I'm going to let this whiskey age. I think this, one of these sticks in here with some whiskey ages it like, uh, I think every month is like a year or something crazy like that. I don't know exactly. But I'm going to seal it up and then I'm going to drink it after the first Eagles win. It's going to be very potent. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, if you gotta institute a rule to 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 help out minorities, if you if you gotta reinforce a rule that you already got in place to help out minority coaches, then the system is flawed. Call a spade a spade. These rules aren't put in place because these injustices don't happen. This this stuff happens. It happens. Look, the New York Giants hired a rook. Look at all the rookie head coaches that were hired. This not not rookies, guys from college. Look at all the guys who never coached in the NFL at all. Brought them to teams like the New York Giants. I, I I don't understand that move at all. When you had guys that you could have grabbed from like Baltimore to be a head coach, you know what I mean? You got you got you got you got, you got the African American dude from the Chiefs. What is he? The uh, offensive coordinator from the Chiefs? Eric Bieniemy. Come on, bruh. You gotta be kidding me, dude! Should have been a head coach probably a, a really long time ago, but you know what I'm saying. And 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 these dudes are saying they're not even getting opportunities. So, you know, shout out to the NFL and shout out to all parties involved for getting this thing fixed. Well, not it's not even fixed. Bringing more awareness to the Rooney Rule, man. The Rooney Rule been broken. You know what I mean? And I'm just happy that they're still pushing forward to make things equal, an equal playing field for some of these minority coaches who got the skills, obviously, but they don't get the call. This is what you guys got to understand. If you never get the opportunity, your skills will never be put into play. You know what I'm saying? Nobody will never see what you're capable of if you don't get the opportunity. So once again, shout out to the NFL for getting that right, man. I'm proud of it, man. You know, you got to think. Like, you got to think. Is, is this is this is this something that Jay Z had his hand in? I wouldn't be surprised if that come out because you know Jay Z got a partnership with the NFL and Jay Z is um, a real big guy on reform and just and just social injustice. You know he's he's a he's a guy that's for the people and always trying to do the right thing, especially for people of color. So we'll see we'll see. Yeah 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. So um, this will be my eighth hundredth upload. Yes, my 800th upload. And 800 uploads, you know, we achieved some pretty good things on the channel, and we definitely going to keep it rolling, man. You know what I mean? So um, I can't wait to hit 1,000 uploads with you guys, man. I don't know when it'll be, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be soon. You know what I mean? Um, the grind is unmatched. The grind is never going to stop. So we're going to see where we go. But, um, you know, it's been a lot of talk about what Carson Wentz can absolutely achieve with the weapons that he has that he has at his disposal this season. And um you talking about from from the guys that were drafted down to the undrafted free agents, there is room for statistical improvement from Carson Wentz's game. Um I think Bleacher Report had him at getting uh you, you know 4400 passing yards, uh somewhere like 28 touchdowns and under 10 picks again, but I think there's room for him to do even more damage, man. I got him having 30 touchdowns. I got him definitely having more than 4,000 passing yards again. And you, you know, I got, I got him, I got him, I got him showing the NFL early on that what he can do with outside weapons. You know, um, what was better? What was better, the drafted speedsters or the guys from the undrafted free agents? You know what I mean? It's been a lot of talk. I watched Philly 500s. Uh, video on undrafted free agents i watch i watch gate city sports video on undrafted on undrafted free agent um manassa bailey if you haven't uh subbed to any of those two eagles youtubers make sure you do that man they definitely about their business man you know what i mean i watch a lot of their videos man i can't you you know it's like i turn when i turn it on that's what i'm watching either five double o or gate city sports or something like that so um you know what I mean? There's been a lot of talk on, you know, the undrafted free agents. And I got to agree with what a lot that with a lot that's being said. You know, um, this is a very impressive undrafted free agents group. It's also a very impressive draft group. You know, outside the number two pick, 
You know what I mean? And people want to just harp on a number two pick like it defined the draft, but the draft turned around quickly after that. Quickly. You know what I mean? It turned around quickly after that. And you, you, you know, how he stayed true to what he said he was going to do. But it comes down to a point of this. Ladies and gentlemen, who's going to make this roster? I think absolutely you should have five to six wide receivers on this roster. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot play around with death again this season. I think you need to carry six corners and six wide receivers. I think you do. You know what I mean? I think you can get away with three running backs, but six corners and six wide receivers, you need to start the season off with that. And then you can mix and match as it goes along. You know what I mean? You're looking at you're looking at possibly having a very dangerous practice squad, a practice squad full of guys that can start. You know what I'm saying? Jobs are on the line, man, in, in, those, in those positions. I think jobs are on the line at cornerback and jobs are on the line at wide receiver for sure. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you know, these undrafted free agents, man, it's so much room. It's so much room to where guys can make the roster. The coaching staff has a dangerous opportunity ahead of them, man. I think the coaching staff played with fire last season by, you know, discovering guys like Greg Ward and um, Boston Scott late in the season. I mean, they didn't play those guys until they had to play them, until it was in an emergency. And they didn't know what to expect from those guys because they didn't play them. You know what I mean? They didn't know it was going to turn out like that. You know what I mean? That could be a credit to Carson Wentz's game, being able to play with anybody. And that also can be a credit to, you know, the skill set of these guys and Doug Peterson putting guys in the best situation to succeed. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you got to know what's on your roster. How could you not know Greg Ward is out there and is able to create separation from the slot? How could you not know that? And you needed a wide receiver. You know, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just, that's poor coaching. Somebody wasn't paying attention. Somebody didn't have their antennas up right. We can't afford to have that. Because like I said, and like I keep mentioning, we were six to last in punt return yards last season. We didn't do really good on kick returns. I don't remember us returning a kick return or a punt return for a touchdown last season. Adrian Killens has to make the roster because he can do that very well. You know what I mean? I think Adrian Killens has to make the roster because he can change the game in both aspects for that. So I think he definitely should be the fourth running back, third running back or something. You got to be able to diagnose talent immediately. If we're going to be fast, the fast guys got to make the roster. And you know what I mean? These undrafted free agents are very, very impressive, man. Manasseh Bailey. I mean, oh my God. Out of Morgan State. You, you know, you know, you just can't. You, yo, strong, fast. You, you know what I'm saying? I actually reached out to Manasseh Bailey. Um, I sent him an email. I'm trying to have him on the show as well. I just want him to be able to, you know, introduce himself to some of the Philadelphia Eagles diehard fans that are always, that, that rock with me. You know what I'm saying? I want him to be able to introduce himself because I don't think it's fair that some of these uh, undrafted free agents who didn't get drafted, obviously, don't get the interview that these other guys get. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys get these interviews, these first, second, third, fourth round picks. They get interviews about being selected. You know, you know, it, it builds hype up for the fan base. But listen, Corey Clement was an undrafted free agent. Turned out to be the Super Bowl hero. We got to shed more light on some of these guys. So Manasseh, if you're watching, I gave you the link to the uh, to my YouTube channel, Matt. I really hope you can make it on to the, um, you know, to the live stream. Uh, whenever you're ready to do it, we're going to do it expeditiously. And you know what I mean? I think people need to know about you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a shame how 32 NFL execs could pass up on some of this talent. I don't understand it at all. It's a crying shame to me. You know what I mean? As deep as this wide receiver draft uh, pool was, I understand everybody didn't need a wide receiver. But at the same time, ones who were drafted or signed as undrafted free agents deserve some shine too. If you don't know who Manasseh Bailey is, I'm telling you, you will know. Let me know what you think in the comments.